Hi everyone, welcome back to my series of Certified Kubernetes Administrator exam questions. So far we have solved many questions but those were quite traditional questions. In this particular video, I will talk about a very important question that will come in the exam for sure and that question is about the Kubernetes version upgrade. This question is mostly asked in the exam and the probability of this particular question is very very high and this one carries a lot of weightage in the exam. So I suggest you to watch this carefully and also practice this along with watching the video. If you haven't gone through all the videos that I have created so far, I suggest you to please go through those videos and practice those because these are questions that are going to come in the exam for sure. I also suggest you to watch one of my video which is about tips and tricks. So this tips and tricks will help you on how to attempt the exam and to complete the exam within time. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So here is the question, upgrade the cluster master and worker node from 1.18 to 1.19 version and make sure to first drain both nodes and make it available after upgrade. So basically current version of the cluster is on 1.18 and we need to upgrade it to 1.19. The version could be different in exam. So don't worry if you don't see the same version in the exam. Be assured this question will come for sure. And the version number might be different but you need to follow the same method and based on the given version you can change the command. And before upgrading the cluster we need to make sure we are draining the node. Draining is we are evicting all the pods from the node so that the node is empty doesn't have any port available on it. For this, let us go to Kubernetes documentation. The documentation have all the steps that are required to attempt this question. So in documentation, I'm going to search for Kubernetes version upgrade. The very first link you see is about upgrading QADM cluster. Click on that. And as you can see here, you have link to upgrade a cluster from 1.25 to 1.26 and so on. So it's from 1.22 to 1.26 as of now, which is the latest version of course, 1.26. You have 1.27 version recently. But as per question, we need to upgrade it from 1.18 to 1.19. So let us see what are the steps that is required to upgrade the cluster other than draining the node. So to upgrade control plane node, you need to run these sets of command. If it is Ubuntu or Debian based system, then you need to follow these commands. apt mark and hold qvdm, apt get update, apt get installed, qvdm and the version. Please note that the version should be in this order 1.27. something hyphen 00. Then apt mark hold qvdm. So you need to run this command and if it is CentOS or RHL based system, then you need to run this set of command. Here you just need to change the QADM version 1.27 instead of the given version in the exam. So once you do this, you can verify QADM version and then you can verify the upgrade plan with the help of command QADM upgrade plan. And then you can choose a version to upgrade to and run appropriate command. For example, if you want to upgrade to 1.27, you can run sudo qvdm upgrade apply. So apply is the command which is required here and the version is 127.x. Please note v is also mentioned here. If you want to upgrade to 1.19, then we are going to say v.1.19.0. Once you run this command, you will see success your cluster was upgraded to 1.27. So these are the steps for upgrading control plane node. For the other control plane node, you need to run same as the first control plane node, but we need to use sudo qvdm upgrade node instead of sudo qvdm upgrade apply. So these are the steps to upgrade the control plane and node and if you want to drain the node you need to run the command kubectl drain and the node name to drain and you need to provide the option hyphen hyphen ignore daemon set because we want to ignore daemon set as well that are already running on the node if you don't supply this ignore daemon set option then it will give an error and it will also tell you in the output that you need to supply this option so be careful please follow these steps along with me if you miss any of these options or commands then it is going to give you error then to upgrade kubelet and kubectl, you need to run these sets of command apt mark and hold kubelet kubectl, apt get update or apt get install kubelet and its version, appropriate version. And please note that the syntax should be like this 1.27.x-00 and you can obviously change or replace the version as and when required. And then you need to run apt mark hold kubelet kubectl. Then you need to restart the daemon and then ultimately restart the kubelet service. Once you are done with this, you can uncordon the node. You can run the command kubectl uncordon and then node name. So these are the major steps that you need to follow to upgrade the Kubernetes cluster. Let us now go ahead and actually do this. So we are at the control plane right now. Let us run kubectl get nodes 
we have control plane and node 0 1 the control plane and node 0 1 is on 1.18 now let us run kubectl control plane so we are draining the control plane and we need to apply the option hyphen hyphen ignore daemon sets ok it says control plane ardent so it is evicting the pod cube system so it is going to evict all the pods that are present on it and it will ignore the daemon set so it is as you can see it has evicted a lot of pods once this is evicted let us run kubectl get node and as you can see scheduling is disabled on this as of now let us run kubectl get pod and as you can see we have one demo nginx running let us run kubectl get pod hyphen o wide and it is running on node 01 and not on control plane because we have already pardoned it now let us run apt update now run apt install kubeadm equals to the version we want that is 1.19.0-00 press y and hit enter ok this is done now now run kubeadm upgrade apply v1.19.0 so as you can see it is running and it is upgrading it ok we are done your cluster was upgraded to 1.19 enjoy this is the message we have got now it is saying control plane is upgraded please proceed with upgrading your kubelet now run the command apt install kubelet and we need to provide the version that is 1.19.0-00 now it is upgrading the kubelet now run systemctl restart kubelet let us clear the screen run the command kubectl get nodes and as you can see the control plane is now upgraded to 1.19 version so we have successfully upgraded the control plane let us uncordon control plane so run command kubectl uncordon control plane so that now the control plane should become schedulable and pods can be assigned on it and as you can see it is now in ready state and upgraded now let us drain node 01 because we are going to upgrade node 01 now kubectl drain node 01 and of course we need to specify ignore daemon set option and as you can see it is evicting all the pods that is assigned on it so it has now evicted all of them now run kubectl get pod and see what is the output and as you can see only nginx pod is running and it is running on control plane nor or the node 01 now run kubectl get nodes and as you can see node 01 is scheduling disabled so no pod can be assigned on it because we have cordoned it now ssh into node 01 because we want to upgrade that now we are inside node 01 we need to run apt update in the exam you will mostly get debian based system to work on so this is the command you need to follow but just in case if it is not debian then you can obviously go for the other command now run apt install kubeadm and specify the version press y and hit enter let us clear the screen now let us upgrade it kubeadm upgrade node now we need to upgrade the kubelet package so let us run that command apt install kubelet and specify the version 1.19.0-00 now this has also upgraded let us restart kubelet now system cdl restart kubelet ok this is done now let us log out and go to control plane again and run the command kubectl get nodes and let us see if it is upgraded or not to the latest version and as you can see it is now on 1.19 so node and control plane both are upgraded now now we need to uncordon the node so kubectl uncordon node 01 and it enter and now it is uncordoned let us run the kubectl get node command again to see if it is uncordoned so both are now in ready state and is upgraded to 1.19 version so we are done with all the scenarios that was given in the question so this is how you need to handle the upgrade of kubernetes cluster in the exam mostly it will come for qadm only and this is a must know question because i have seen this is being asked many times many students have reported this question and i myself has seen this question in the exam so please follow this question practice it the best option will be to install kubernetes cluster on your own using kubeadm and then you can try upgrading it to a newer version following this method so this is it for this video so please stay subscribed thanks for watching